are back to the basement. Back to basics right now. Welcome to Peace Corner. I'm your host, Peter Soprano, a.k.a. The Sports God. To my right, D-Money Drizzy Dre. What's going on, people? And listen, now is the time that we go into the new format. We go picking all NFL games, but this week yeah. we're just picking the Thursday games, and then we'll be back Sunday to pick the rest of the games. So right. get ready to write down everything, take your notes, because we're going to try to make you some real big money now. We got Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, guys, like Pete said, take look, get ready, take your notes. Eat a lot of food Thursday, yeah, so make we're, a lot we're of money. Be, so, yeah, especially on Sunday, we're going to be running down all the games. We'll say which one we think is the best pick of the day, all that stuff like we usually did, but we're going all the games. So it's going to be quick. That's why I said make sure you pay attention. Yep. So, Dre, what's your first game of the week? Now, also, Wait, as, you, as you go down, right now, any game you want to start with, just make sure you mention which one is your best pick of the week. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to start off with the three games we have on Thursday. We're going to go for the uh, with the Chicago Bears at Detroit Lions. Chicago Bears are a three-point favorite. I actually like Detroit to win this game. Um, obviously, the uh, you know money line plus the, uh, and, and, and to cover as well. I'm not again. The defense could only carry Chicago the, the Bears so long, and Detroit's been moving the ball a little bit. You know, again. Trubisky sucks. <laughs> yeah, Trubisky sucks. Trubisky Bears su- fans know it. Trubisky Tr- look, sucks. Trubisky sucks. Even if they bench him, I'm not. Again, Detroit tradition Thanksgiving game. They're at home. Yeah. I, you know, sh- show me. No something. Barry Sanders though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say no Barry Sanders. I-, I got Detroit to win and cover that plus three. Then we're gonna move along to the four o'clock game. We got the Dallas Cowboys minus seven at home against the Buffalo Bills. Again, I'm, I'm not sold on the Bills yet. Uh, again, that A and three records. It doesn't show me much in the Cowboys. The Cowboys are just the Cowboys. I expect them to win, but I got Buffalo Bills to cover that plus seven. And now we got the rematch. The New Orleans Saints are going to try to avenge the, uh, the, the, the the loss they had earlier this season against the Atlanta Falcons. They're, they're minus seven at Atlanta. I got New Orleans to win, but I'm going to pick ATL to cover the spread. These, wow. these games Yo, I want to smash everybody on ATL's team right now after last week. Listen, that was complete bullshit. Seriously? Hey, look, man, I didn't want to say it, though, man, but ATL, <laughs> even though they did play great the last two weeks, I just didn't feel comfortable riding with a, you know, a, a team that was inconsistent. But... When it comes to betting and when it comes to NFL, you always got to go with the hottest team at the moment. So that ain't Atlanta. <laughs> well, it wasn't. It, well, it was Atlanta. It was. That's why it, I went it with was. Atlanta. But with that being said, New Orleans. Well, New Orleans in Atlanta, it's it's, it's a rivalry wow. that's been in the making for the past couple of years. So and um, and these games have always some, been some. close. I, I expect Orleans to win by five six points. I, um, and I got Atlanta to cover that plus seven. All right, so I'm going to say more than you did, and I'll, and I'll let people know what my top top game is. Well, for uh, that day? No, 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 just overall. Okay, it, overall, okay. Overall. So, my first pick, obviously, is going to be, I actually disagree with you. I'm going with the Chicago Bears minus three, just because Detroit has looked like complete crap since, since Matthew Stafford has been, has been on the bench. Right. Um, Jeff Driscoll just isn't really moving the team that much. They have been running the ball because both Scarborough has been really, really good, but they just can't. They, I don't think they're going to put up enough points. I think the Bears defense will probably get a defensive touchdown, and they'll win by probably, I would say, six, seven points. Um, so, the dumb Chicago Bears beat Detroit. <laughs> oh, you like Detroit now? <laughs> Detroit won. Yeah, Detroit. Detroit won. The Mighty Lions. Yeah, Mighty oh, Lions. Man. Second game of the week. Our is coming out of retirement. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna agree with you and go with the Buffalo Bills. Um, I think the Buffalo Bills will cover the seven point spread versus Dallas. Um, one thing that take note is that on Thursday nights, there's been eleven Thursday night games so far. Uh, and in those third night games, so, eight of those times, the underdog is covered. Okay. So, okay. Good, bro. on short rest, it looks like the favorite isn't really at their peak level yet. And I think Buffalo is pretty close, especially with their defense, pretty close to the level of yeah, Dallas yeah, anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. I think that, um, Dallas will be able to pull away in this one. Even though it's in Dallas and on Thanksgiving, is usually a little extra burst. I'm going with Buffalo to cover the seven-point spread. Last game is going to be my best pick. Because I'm going against Atlanta. Oh, I think they, like after what I saw last week, they tapped out. They tapped out. That, that was a complete disgraceful performance that they put on last week. They completely tapped out. That was complete bullshit. So I'm going with that, uh, New Orleans to actually run up the score to make up for how they lost to them a couple weeks ago. Good job, Atlanta. You pissed off Pete now. Exactly. Yo, that whole, yo, that's why other... They don't win championships. The Falcons never won a championship. Georgia hasn't really won a championship. The Braves only won one championship. The state just can't win. So when it really matters, so they're not even gonna make the playoffs. They're like a three and ten, three and eleven right now. I don't, not three and ten. Excuse me, three and eight right now. 
I don't think the Falcons are going to win that game even at home. It's going to be in prime time, and I think Breeze and Kamara are going to put on a show. And, and Pete, listen, I mean, December football, look, these games matter. Again, uh, New Orleans is trying to uh, get that home field advantage for the playoffs. Again, I, I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me if they did cover that spread and, bl- uh, you know, and blow them out. Because, like I said, this is an important game to the Saints. Atlanta, they show up when they want to, and <laughs> they don't show up when they don't, you know. So. <laughs> I mean, Atlanta, Atlanta's trying to find a way to get that number two seed because they, they want to get a bye. Everybody, everybody wants to get that bye. So, right. Uh, and, and they played well last week. They should have played better than that, but they still yeah, played well last week. Uh, I'm going with the Saints. Um, now, on to the college picks. Now, obviously you didn't say your best pick was NFL, so it's got to be right. somewhere in this college pick. Where's that, what's that best pick? So my best pick, I'm going to go with Georgia. They're minus 28 at Georgia Tech. Um, look, me again. You're, you're giving me. You're, so you're giving me four touchdowns with Georgia. That's easy money to me. I love it. That's as soon as I saw that spread. I mean, I'll take it right now. College football during the best song that's on college football. That's it. CBS um, pregame show. I expect Georgia to win this game by more than thirty-five points. I like Ooh. the minus twenty-eight. Wow, thirty-five points. Hey. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna go up my my uh, second pick of the week. Which is Alabama minus four against oh, Auburn. Oh, so so hold on. So so we skipping the best pick. I thought you said that I was your best pick. Yeah, yeah. But what's your best pick? That's New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, okay, New, okay. New Orleans is my best pick of the week. But my second best pick of the week is going to be Alabama Crimson Tide. Nobody's really respecting them this week because they're going with the back of quarterback and tools in there. So people have to realize that Alabama still has a good team despite not having a quarterback. And Listen, especially with the wide receivers on that team, they find ways to get open. So he's going to have open holes to throw to. I, I have been saying all year I don't think Auburn is that good. So I, my second pick of the week is Alabama covers the minus four. What's your next pick? My my second best pick of the week, I'm going to go with the Friday game. We got Boise State traveling to Colorado State. Boise State's nine, uh, ten and one, and Colorado State's four and seven. I like the way Boise State's been playing. Colorado State hasn't really, you know, really been playing good football. Um, Again, so, so sometimes the, the way I look at the games is I predict the score before I look at the game, yeah. before I look yeah. at the spread. And if, you know, so me, I like, before I even look at the spread, I have Boise State winning by at least 17 or more. The spread's 13. <laughs> to me, that's a no brainer. I like Boise State. Yeah. I think they're capable of winning by at least 20. And that's the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to try to predict the score. That'll give you so many things. That'll give you what you think the spread is going to be. That'll give you what you think the over under is going to be. So when the spread finally comes up in the over under, then you make your best corner to that. So that's and exactly how you're supposed and, to do it. And sometimes you don't. And sometimes when you look at the spread before. You know, maybe before you make that... Uh, it influences you. Of course, yeah, absolutely. Right, you may think a game is going to be low scoring. Like, I'll give you a perfect example. The San Fran game, now, I ended up being right on target pretty much because it was 45 and the spread and the over-under was 47. But right before that game, I even saw the spread. I was like, that game's probably going to be like 46 or 47, 48. So when it said 47 and a half, I'm like, all right, I think that's going to slightly go over. Right. And then I end up being 45 because Green Bay shit the bed. But right, the right. point is that it was right on point because that's what, that's what you thought ahead of time before seeing the spread. I agree. And, again, that, the same, same exact scenario that went through my head with Boise State. I'm looking at minus 13. I'm hopping all over. That's a 3.30 p.m. Uh, game, guys. That's a Friday. So keep a lookout for that one. Mm-hmm. And then that's when, that's when usually upsets happen. Yep. That, that's usually on Fridays and Thursdays. Like you said, they're out of their usual normal zone. That's when upsets usually happen. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, though. But I, right. I, I like Boise State to cover this one. All right, so my second second game, not the second pick because I already said Alabama for that, but my second college game pick this week, Ohio State Ooh. to beat up on Michigan. Right now the spread is minus nine. I think Ohio State, they see the finish line right now. They know they're two games away from being in the college playoff. And – I think they're going to drive right through it. Listen, Michigan has played pretty well over the past couple of weeks, but they haven't played to the elk of Ohio State team. Ohio State is probably the second best team in the nation. They're coming off a win where they took beat the hell out of a team last week. Even though they had their hiccup in the middle of the game, they were blowing them out 21 nothing against a good Penn State team. I think Ohio State is going to throttle them, especially because I – listen, if Coach Kaki finds a way to win this game – I'll be really shocked because we already know he's not good in big games. He found a way to win a game against Notre Dame. I don't know if he could do twice in one year. So yeah, uh, it's going to be tough for me to actually p- pick them to come close in this game. I think Ohio State wins it probably by 14 to 17 points. Oh, I, I, okay, so before I move on to my underdog pick, yeah. I might as well throw in my bonus pick since, <laughs> since we are on the, that Michigan game. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to have to agree with you. Mm-hmm. The only thing I'm going to disagree with is that I actually think they win by more than what you just said, <laughs> honestly. Maybe, again, maybe, 
despite the record, Michigan to me, even though they've been being the team they should have been being, th- there's been also times that they've looked super flaky, super yeah. inconsistent, and super questionable. Ohio State is obviously clearly, they should have like two more losses this year that they, they got lucky to win it. Down. Exactly. So with me, I'm gonna go with the hotter team, the more explosive team. And uh, again, that that the nine points. It's not a sponsor, by the way, but we just reckon. <laughs> so so <laughs> we're just looking for a <laughs> we, we should we should we should get sponsored, by the way. Yeah, exactly. But um, but yeah, nine points that easy all day. So I'm co-signing Pete on that one. That's my bonus pick. Mm-hmm. I love this game. Mm-hmm. So going on to my underdog pick, um, I'm looking at the Louisville game. We got Louisville seven and four at Kentucky six and five. Uh, not to, you know not not much to it, but I really. I really do like Louisville money line in this one. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a close game. If you guys want to take the points, I don't blame you. If you guys do take the points, try to see if you guys can bump it up to like three and a half maybe. I think it's going to be a, a close game, low-scoring game um, either way. But I do like Louisville to win this one outright. All right. I'm, I'm going to go with my upset pick, and I'm going to say that we're going to have one of the, one of the top – 25 teams upset this oh, week. Oh, not, not the top one. I already called that last week with Oregon. I'm not not talking about that one. But I do think K-State will beat Iowa State this week. Okay. Iowa State is ranked, I think, 22 in the nation right now. K-State has been one of those teams that have been really up and down this year. But I think that they have enough to beat a team that I don't think is that good in Iowa State. So I think they pull that upset off. And I want to throw in one of my bonus picks because we're going to have another rivalry again this week. With Oklahoma versus Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. Yeah. That's going to be, listen, anytime you see a rivalry game, it's going to be a huge game. You need to find a way to pay attention to it because they're, they're usually always close. And I don't think this game is going to be any different. I think that you're probably going to see Oklahoma jump out early because they, they're, they're one of those teams that's like a fast break team and they jump out early. Jillian Hurts has been really good. But I think that eventually when it's done, it's a 13-point spread right now. I think it's going to be like a 3- or 7-point game. I think Oklahoma State has covered that. They're at home. You know you're going to have the crowd extra revved up because it's a rival game. The team will be revved up. And I think Oklahoma State covers that 13-point spread. And I expect a lot of points in this game too, guys. So, again, I mean, I throw in another bonus pick. But if you guys want well. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, but if you guys want to look at the total, it's 69 and a half. I personally think it goes over. If you guys want to look at the half, um, like at the half, and see what the, what the total could be for that. I'll say go for it though, but like Pete said, these games are usually close, and, and 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 when there's a lot of close games in college, either you're gonna get a tie, it's gonna go into overtime, and you're gonna get points all over the place, or those close games are is usually a shootout, which I, I do expect to happen as well with that game. All right, one one more since you told us that one more game I wanted to talk about because there's four big games in college this week, it's a lot so of games, guys. It, and they're all ranked teams that are ranked in probably the top twenty. This is one between two teams ranked in the top twelve: Wisconsin and Minnesota. Oh. The game is in Minnesota. Wait, Min- hold Minnesota on. got their first loss last week, and I think they're at home now. And a t- game that I thought they were going to lose originally, I think I'm changing my mind. You I, got them win. I, I think I got Minnesota winning that game outright. Yes. Outright. Yes. Two and a half point dog. I think there they you went go. Outright. He just co-signed me because that was probably. I was flirting between the Louisville game and the Kentucky game, yeah. and then Minnesota because what I mean, like you said, they're, they're, what, they're plus three and a half. Yeah, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Okay, yeah. so the spread changed, but that's a great game. Yeah, and again, Wisconsin is another team that's been a little bit. They've been up and down. They've been super up and down. They had to lost to Illinois, mm. and, and like I said, Minnesota's at home and they've been really good at home. I love that pick. So, I love that pick. And again, if you you want to take a money line, I don't blame you. But again, you. You pick these teams how you, you pick these games and our picks how you guys want to pick them, parlay with the points, teasers, whatever. But um, just a co-sign P, man, I love that pick. That that, that Minnesota pick, uh, that's a money pick, probably. All right, and with that, we're moving on to fantasy real quick. It's getting into the fantasy playoffs, and I already mentioned last week if you have a chance, and this is a perfect time because it's Tuesday night. As you go into Wednesday, you know you have waivers that you got to go through tonight. So as we go into waivers. I tell you again, pick up Philadelphia's defense. They play three teams that they should be able to be really good against the next three weeks. I picked them up. They got Miami coming up. And, and also, pick, <laughs> pick, up, <laughs> pick up Green Bay's defense, pick up the Jets' defense. Those are two other defenses that over the next two weeks, they should really help you out. Those are my top three defenses to pick out. In terms of waivers, if you didn't get Bo Scarborough by now, you probably aren't going to get him because he was probably the top waiver pick last week. He had another good game, and he's probably gone. One person that surprisingly may be still on waivers is Mr. Williams from Indianapolis. He had another big game last week. Yeah, and right. uh, for That's some right. reason, he's still he's still available in about 60% of leagues right now. So 
I would jump all over him. I, he's going to be starting again. Marlon Mack had a broken hand, so he may be another week or two before he comes back. And even when he comes back, he may split carries a little bit. So I'm jumping. I'm jump- <laughs> so, so, between right now. so between Williams and Hines, you, you'll definitely go Williams? I'll definitely go Williams. I told you that last week, and Williams had a great game, and now I'm doing it again. Pick up Williams and thank Doing me that later. As we speak. And thank, thank me later because no waivers are going in over that. So with that said, that's Pete's Corner for the week. As I said, on Sunday, we're going to be going through all 13 games, the Sunday night game, Monday night game, everything. So you're going to be able to chance to take notes and write down notes for every single game that you want to bet on. So with that, we will catch you on Sunday back at Black Jacks. Open the door. And peace. Just peace, open the door. motherfuckers. Open the door.